saw moments where sun tried to peak out today. Yeah, but as bit. you were talking about earlier, the clouds just wouldn't yeah, give it up. They, they were a bit aggressive. I don't think any of the higher res forecast modeling had clouds until overnight tonight. And wait, yeah. the, our in-house model still doesn't want to put clouds oh in. My. I'll show it to you in a sec. So there's something going on with the modeling. Nonetheless, we're going to be cloudy here as we head into the overnight hours. You'll see in South Texas, we're kind of in a little wedge of cloudiness all of the state under sunshine, but these clouds again sneaking in from the south a little more aggressively than the modeling was suggesting. And because of that, we're cool. We stayed in the 50s or at 55 right now in east wind at eight miles per hour. This is the model I was just talking about. This is valid for six o'clock tonight. And the model still is not seeing the clouds. They will eventually come in on this model by tomorrow morning, but do expect cloudy skies tonight. Contrary to what this is showing us, temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s throughout the region. Friday is going to be a gray day, another cool day, mid to low 60s for highs. Then we'll see some patchy light rain start to move in on Saturday. This may make things damp at times. And again, another somewhat cool start upper 50s, low 60s and a little milder, making a run at 70 on Saturday afternoon. We can thank that little modest warm up for a wind shift southeasterly coming in around 20 miles per hour. Uh, so Saturday a little milder than Sunday. We'll see this front come down, approach the region. There may be some early morning showers on Sunday, but it looks like this front doesn't quite make it through Sunday and we warm up into the low 80s because of that. And this is where the forecast just goes bonkers. It's going to be a very difficult one next week because this stationary front, it's going to be kind of like a tide, an atmospheric tide. It's going to come in and out of the region Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And depending on what side we're on, temperatures will either be in the 60s or 70s as that front gets to the north of us. So it's going to kind of ebb and flow will be gray and cloudy. There will also be periods of rain on Monday, maybe not so much Tuesday, but then again on Wednesday as this front starts to approach us from the west and that upper level disturbance Wednesday, Thursday look like the best chances for rain next week as of today. But again, there's a lot of moving parts and because all of that is right on top of us, any subtle change will have an influence on the forecast. So patchy rain Saturday, less of a chance Sunday, and then we see those ebbs and flows in the rain chances into early and even through the middle parts of next week. Mostly cloudy tonight, 47 and east to northeast wind, five to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, cloudy again. Temperatures will be in the low 60s with an east to northeast steady breeze, seven to 14 miles per hour. That'll translate to uh, some light chop, but generally smooth on the waters. East wind at five to 10 knots and 70 for Saturday. Patchy light rain, a run at 80 on Sunday. A little chance for some morning rain, but some afternoon sunshine then. And then there's that front into Monday in the 60s behind it with some rain back to the 70s Tuesday, staying cloudy and another front sending temperatures into the mid 60s with additional damp conditions into Wednesday and Thursday. I think that's the best way to describe it, though. A tide yeah. in the atmosphere kind of just messing with our forecast. Next well, week. and you're watching it all, so keep it here, folks. For He'll sure. let you know the latest. <laughs> hey, when three